Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and it's tea break. Um, I've had a lot of questions uh, in my emails and, and in my inbox that I felt it warranted me doing a quick video because if you think my hair looks bad, you should see my house. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the babies are doing amazingly well. You guys having fun? Knots and ditto are the only way now I can tell them apart is by the floppy ears on snots. The tips of his ears flop down and I think it's because I pinched them so much trying to get him to respond. I was not uh, gentle with him in bullying him to stay alive. But they're doing really, really well. And this weekend they'll be going into the barn. Now that raised some concerns from some people because we still got lots of snow and we're subject to freezing temperatures and all that stuff. But the plan is this weekend, Wolfie's gonna spring clean the barn. He's going to take all the chickens from the coop and put them in the back coop, all the laying hens. And then he's going to thoroughly clean the barn, cobwebs, straw, poop, everything gets out. Then what he's going to do is he's going to put diatomaceous earth and lime down on the floor so that anything will, um, it will kill bacteria, the lime will kill bacteria and the diatomaceous earth, if, if there's any bugs or parasites, that will make a big difference too. And he's going to let that sit overnight and then he's going to sweep it all out and in the goat pen, he's going to put a fresh bed of straw and he's going to properly hang the heat lamp. Then snots and ditto, mommy's going to make a pair of sweaters for and they will have sweaters, a heat lamp and uh, a thick bed of straw and they will be fine. They are drinking now five ounces uh, five times a day. Yeah, five times a day because they have breakfast, they get up, they have, the, they have a five o'clock feeding they have an 11 o'clock feeding, they have a 3 o'clock feeding, they have a 7 o'clock feeding, and then they have a 10 o'clock feeding. Although today I will probably be inching things around to spread that out to a four times a day feeding because I want them to get used to drinking more, not just like a newborn on demand. Uh, I am giving them, thanks to some generous donations in my PayPal account, um, and you folks know who you are. God bless you. Uh, I, I didn't want to say yes when the offer was put forward, but then my buddy J Null Zero, my little brother, said in my brain, you know, you know, God works in mysterious ways, and you just say thank you. Let people help because if people offer to help, it's because they want to, right? So thanks to that, our uh, vet bills to this point are now up to date. And I was able to get Howie to buy a bag of milk replacer. Now the vet said in our case, being that there is no mom at all, the milk replacer is really, and, and we can't buy raw milk around here. No farmer would dare, you know, even if I said it's just for my baby goats, doesn't matter. They can't sell raw milk. So, uh, I have no choice, but to put them on, have had no choice, but to put them on milk replacer. I got a good quality milk replacer, made in Canada, no China, no melamine, none of that stuff. This is 100% milk nutrition for kids and lambs. It's called wet nurse. They did have colostrum um, before the vet came. Well, last, last year when Blossom delivered a baby kid and it died, uh, I milked a cup of colostrum out of her at first and put it in the freezer. And then before the vet came to do the C-section on Clover, I went and checked her teats and she had colostrum coming out. So as much as I hated to do it, I had to think of the kids and I wanted them to have, you know, mummies antibodies um, and hers were sorely depleted. And if there were any antibodies, it was going to be in that colostrum. So I managed to milk a cup of colostrum out of Clover. And so I did. The babies did have colostrum. Make no mistake, do not put them directly on milk replacer um, because they don't, they don't have the stomach for it yet. 
and they need those antibodies. The vet in, it was included in the vet bill. The vet gave us a bag of colostrum replacer, which did one liter. So they got real colostrum from Clover and Blossom from that was in the fridge, and they got colostrum replacer. So for the first 36 hours, those guys had colostrum, and that's really important. They are now on the milk replacer, and I'm going to show you what I use. People, people didn't really get a good look at what I was using to feed them. Four years ago, when we got Ole and Span and, and all that, um, I uh, bought a six pack of these little bottles of Coke. And I got my nephews and my sons to drink it because they were here for the weekend because I don't drink pop. And they, these are, these hold almost exactly one cup of, or eight ounces of formula. And they're glass, so they're really easy to do. And I bet now of all the nipples you're going to buy, if you have to buy nipples for baby goats or lambs, these black ones are perfect because they fit right over the end of this bottle. And if you look carefully, there's a little tab on this nipple, see? And yes, I make the hole bigger. I make the hole much bigger because the hole that's in these is just an X cut through, and they can't, they can't get the milk through it. They really can't. They want it, they want it now. And, you, and especially when they're preemies, you don't want them having to fight too hard for their milk. So you take this Coke bottle and you put the edge on the edge at the lip of the bottle and you grab it with your finger like that. And then you just take this tab and you pull it down. And then it's over the edge. And once it's over the edge, I like to grab it and pull it down so that it is right down over the top. And that's what I use to feed my babies. Now, when I'm done with them, I rinse them with boiling water and then I fill them up with hot water and I rinse the nipples and I just put the nipples inside the bottle and I set them on the counter for the next time I feed the babies. So anyway, when, when all the barn's clean, then the laying hens are all going back into the laying hen pen and the back coop is getting cleaned and that's going to be for ma and pa kettle. Then their pen in the barn is getting cleaned properly and um, Turtle and Rockstar and Slowpoke are going in the Mom and Pa kettle pen. And then Sunday I have a hopefully 11 egg turkey eggs hatching and it starts all over again because after they're hatched I have to collect egg chicken eggs and start hatching them for meat. So that's the way thing goes when you have only a half acre and you have a small barn and one chicken coop you really have to know how to organize and rotate the um, your space i have a, a semi outdoor pen on the other side of the barn but it is closed up until warm weather and uh we still have piglets to get yet we're still hoping for rabbits it's just really busy um as for as for an update on the solar now still we only have the four panels and the eight batteries and it's gray and cloudy today and it was gray and cloudy yesterday but he, what he's done is he's put our bedroom on the solar and just our well pump anything else draws too much power at this point so we have the bedroom on and we have the well pump on and on two cloudy days in a row I have to be careful. So, if, like I said, if you think my hair is messy, you should see my house. I can only run the washing machine once a day right now, and then afterwards the dishwasher once. So, I have to be really choosy about what I'm going to be doing. I have other videos coming, I just haven't made them yet. I have a canning video I want to do this week. I have a, I want to plant some, some of my cabbages and stuff in pots and stuff. So there are things happening, there are things going on. I just have not had a moment to myself other than to sit here and tell you guys that I don't have a moment to myself to do any other videos right now. Other questions. Somebody asked me to do a, a, a quick video on spices. Now, there are lots of spices, but she wants to know what are the spices I cannot live without. Salt, pepper, garlic, cinnamon, cloves, allspice, nutmeg, curry, and ginger. All right, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with a huge thank you and uh, an update. I love you guys, and uh, I'll see you in a day or two.
Bye-bye.